Navigating the labyrinth of a relationship with a narcissistic woman is akin to threading a needle in a storm, demanding finesse and strategic communication. It's not just a breakup, it's a high-stakes dance where every word and gesture holds the potential to either intensify the turmoil or pave the way to newfound freedom. Picture this. Your liberation hinges on the delicate balance of unraveling manipulation, establishing boundaries, and asserting your autonomy, with the grace of a tightrope walker. Breaking free isn't a mere escape, it's a strategic operation where emotions run high, and the intricacies of human connection become both the battlefield and the battleground. In this riveting journey, your ticket to liberation lies in the art of communication not just any communication but a thoughtful, strategic dialogue that serves as the compass guiding you through the storm. With that being said, here are how to get rid of a narcissistic woman with seven sentences. Number one, you can forget about me ever changing. The phrase you can forget about me ever changing serves as a formidable shield, effectively communicating a steadfast refusal to undergo transformation based on someone else's expectations. Narcissistic women, known for their attempts to shape and mold others to fulfill their desires, often encounter resistance when faced with such a resolute declaration. This sentence is not merely a rejection of conformity, it is a bold affirmation of individuality. It implies that your core identity, values, and beliefs are non-negotiable and immune to external manipulation. By articulating this sentence, you erect a barrier against the subtle coercion and emotional manipulation employed by narcissistic women. It sends a clear message that your sense of self is grounded and unyielding, impervious to external pressures. It establishes a boundary that protects your autonomy and preserves the essence of who you are. Furthermore, you can forget about me ever changing, serves as a declaration of independence within the relationship dynamic. It asserts that your personal growth and evolution will be guided by your own values and choices, rather than being subjected to the whims of someone attempting to exert control. This statement empowers you to navigate the relationship on your terms, fostering an environment where your authenticity is valued and preserved. Number 2. I'm aware of your pursuit of fame and wealth. I'm aware of your pursuit of fame and wealth, serves as a strategic sentence to distance oneself from a narcissistic woman by directly addressing their underlying motivations and desires. This statement brings to light a fundamental aspect of the narcissistic personality, their relentless quest for external validation, social status, and material success. Narcissistic women often prioritize their image, seeking admiration, attention, and recognition to bolster their fragile self-esteem. By explicitly acknowledging their pursuit of fame and wealth, you expose their primary drivers and make it clear that you comprehend their underlying motives. This sentence functions as a mirror reflecting back their intentions, challenging their facade of charm or generosity. It communicates that you see through the superficial layers they project and recognize the deeper, often self-serving, objectives at play. Narcissistic women are typically averse to being seen through, as it threatens their carefully constructed image of perfection. Moreover, by bringing attention to their pursuit of fame and wealth, you signal a misalignment of values and priorities. It suggests that you are not willing to be part of a dynamic driven solely by external validation and material gains. This awareness can create a disconnect between their aspirations and your own, laying the groundwork for distancing yourself from their influence. Number 3. Do you genuinely think I trust anything you utter? This is a confrontational yet assertive sentence strategically employed to distance oneself from a narcissistic woman. This statement serves as a direct challenge to the manipulative tactics often employed by narcissists, who are known for their penchant for deception and half-truths. By posing this question, you're putting the narcissistic woman on notice that her attempts at manipulation or deceit are transparent to you. It reflects your astuteness in recognizing the discrepancy between her words and actions. Narcissistic women thrive on maintaining a certain level of control through manipulation, and exposing their lack of credibility can disrupt their tactics. This sentence also underscores the erosion of trust within the relationship. Trust is a fundamental aspect of any healthy connection, and by openly questioning the sincerity of her words, you are highlighting the breach of trust that has occurred. This can be a powerful move to reclaim control over your perceptions and emotions. Moreover, the phrase implies a level of self-respect and discernment. It communicates that you are not easily swayed or fooled by empty promises or deceptive maneuvers. For a narcissistic woman, whose tactics often rely on exploiting others' trust, being met with skepticism and resistance can be disempowering. 
Number 4, I can see through your facade. The sentence I can see through your facade is a powerful statement aimed at breaking down the illusion and deceptive front that a narcissistic woman often presents. By uttering these words, you are asserting your perceptiveness and signaling that her attempts to maintain a false image or manipulate others are ineffective. This sentence directly challenges the narcissistic woman's facade, which is typically built on projecting an idealized version of herself to others. Narcissistic women often create a persona that conceals their true intentions, insecurities, and manipulative behaviors. By stating that you can see through this facade, you strip away the protective layer they've crafted to shield themselves from scrutiny. The phrase communicates a sense of awareness and insight, suggesting that you are not easily swayed by surface-level charm or the superficial image she projects. This can be particularly unsettling for a narcissistic woman, as it undermines their efforts to control how others perceive them. I can see through your facade as a declaration of your refusal to be deceived or manipulated. It sets a boundary indicating that you are unwilling to participate in the illusion she's attempting to maintain. This assertion can be a turning point in the dynamic of the relationship as it challenges the narcissistic woman's need for control and dominance. Additionally, this statement can trigger a defensive reaction from the narcissistic woman. Being confronted with the exposure of their facade can lead to discomfort, frustration, or anger. In some cases, it might prompt the narcissistic woman to withdraw or distance themselves, as they prefer interactions where they can maintain a sense of superiority and control. Number 5, If you persist, I will choose to step away. This sentence effectively sets a clear boundary by establishing consequences for the narcissistic woman's behavior. It communicates that you are not willing to tolerate continued manipulation, control, or toxic dynamics in the relationship. By expressing your readiness to step away if the behavior persists, you assert your autonomy and self-respect. For a narcissistic woman, who often thrives on exerting dominance and control over others, the notion of someone willingly walking away from them can be unsettling. It challenges their sense of superiority and disrupts their ability to manipulate and exploit the individual for their own gain. Furthermore, by stating your intention to step away, you demonstrate a healthy sense of self-preservation and self-respect. You refuse to subject yourself to further emotional harm or manipulation, prioritizing your mental and emotional well-being above the relationship. This statement can serve as a wake-up call for the narcissistic woman, prompting them to reconsider their behavior and its impact on others. It forces them to confront the possibility of losing a source of narcissistic supply and may lead to introspection or attempts to change their behavior. Number 6. I am well aware of your true identity. This is a sentence used to confront a narcissistic woman and expose the facade she presents to the world. By uttering this statement, you strip away the illusion of perfection or superiority that the narcissistic woman tries to maintain, revealing the true nature of her personality and behavior. This sentence serves as a direct challenge to the narcissistic woman's carefully crafted image. It communicates that you see through her manipulative tactics, superficial charm, and deceptive facade. By acknowledging her true identity, you refuse to be deceived or manipulated any longer, asserting your independence and autonomy. For a narcissistic woman, whose sense of self-worth is often contingent upon maintaining a grandiose and flawless image, having her true identity exposed can be deeply unsettling. It threatens her ego and challenges her inflated sense of self-importance. By confronting her with the reality of her behavior, you disrupt her ability to control and manipulate others for her own gain. Moreover, by expressing awareness of her true identity, you reclaim power and agency in the relationship. You refuse to be a pawn in her game of manipulation and exploitation, asserting your right to authenticity and honesty. This statement can serve as a catalyst for self-reflection and introspection for the narcissistic woman prompting her to confront her own behavior and its impact on others. However, it's important to be prepared for potential retaliation or denial from the narcissistic woman in response to the statement. She may attempt to gaslight, deflect blame, or manipulate you into doubting your perceptions. Number 7. Your manipulative tactics will no longer control me. The sentence serves as a powerful declaration of independence and resistance against the influence of a narcissistic woman. By uttering this statement, you are firmly communicating that you recognize and reject the manipulative behaviors employed by the narcissistic woman, and you are determined to break free from their control. This assertion conveys a sense of empowerment and self-awareness. It signifies that you have become cognizant of the subtle and often deceitful tactics used by the narcissistic woman to maintain dominance and manipulate your thoughts or emotions. 
By declaring your immunity to these manipulative strategies, you are establishing a boundary that prevents her from exerting control over your decisions, actions, or feelings. This sentence implies a shift in power dynamics within the relationship. It communicates that you are no longer willing to be a passive participant in the narcissistic woman's games. Instead, you are taking an active role in setting boundaries and protecting yourself from further manipulation. It reflects a commitment to prioritize your own well-being and mental health over succumbing to the emotional exploitation typically employed by narcissists. Furthermore, this statement may serve as a wacup call for the narcissistic woman, prompting her to realize that her usual tactics are ineffective in maintaining control over you. It challenges her assumptions about her ability to manipulate and dominate others, potentially leading to frustration or a loss of interest in continuing the relationship. However, it's important to be prepared for potential backlash or escalated manipulative efforts from the narcissistic woman in response to this declaration. Narcissistic women often resist losing control and may intensify their tactics to regain dominance. Therefore, maintaining firm boundaries and seeking support from others can be crucial when employing such a statement in dealing with a narcissistic woman.